back a motherfucker. Nigga, what's going on? Nigga, get back a motherfucker. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction with your boy Isaac, man. Know what I'm saying? And uh, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I feel like it's been a minute, man, since I reacted to like a 1090 Jake video. You feel me? Cause I feel like the last one I did ain't really do that well or whatever. But um, personally, I like reacting to 1090 Jake videos because these videos are like. More so on the stuff like I'm interested in a lot. Um, but yeah, neither here nor there, y'all. I'm just yapping, honestly. But yeah, welcome back to 90 Jake to the live channel, man. And uh, welcome back to the live channel to you too. You know what I'm saying? Welcome back. Hopefully you scroll down, hit that like button, man. Turn on that subscribe and turn on and post notifications for me, man. You know what I'm saying? So you don't get lost no more. But uh. Yeah, today we got 1090 Jake and we got Rod Wade, St. Pete's biggest rapper under investigation after quadruple shooting. You know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy about that? <laughs> the last video I reacted to was actually in St. Petersburg, Florida, man. It was the uh, Tyler Oliver investigating the ex-offenders um, video. Y'all go tune into that, man. It's crazy as hell, but... um. Yeah, that just made me think of that. So, two St. Petersburg videos in a row, man. Let's do it. But, uh, yeah, my pre-thoughts before we get into this. I actually was seeing a little bit about this, y'all. That Raw Wave had got arrested and, you know, um, his house got raided and shit like that. Um, and I never knew why. So, I wanted to get the full scoop, honestly. So, I'm happy 1090 Jake made this video um, for people out there like me who's interested. So, that's all I really got to say, y'all, before we hop into this, man. As always, if you're new to the channel, like I said earlier, I'd appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. Helps me out more than you could ever imagine. Know what I'm saying? Uh, we on the road to 1K, man. You can help us get there as fast as possible. So, uh, yeah. Don't forget to also head over to my main channel. Check that out, too, man. It's just Isaac, I-S-A-A-C, man. Pranks and everything over there all the time. But with that being said, Rod Wave, why you under investigation? Let's do it. Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another That boy be clapping hard as hell on his intro. Y'all rock with y'all. Y'all rock with me. We're going to be speaking on Rod Wave being arrested following a quadruple shooting and an investigation into gang members that may have been too close to Rod Wave. Developing now three men with ties to recording artists. So, like, is he involved in the actual case, or are they just uh, trying to tie him to it? We recovered two assault rifles, two pounds of marijuana, and a great deal yeah, of evidence that. that we're going to utilize in this case as we move forward. Rapper Rod Wave was actually incorrectly arrested two ARs, by the County two Sheriff's Office in the aftermath of the raid. March 31st, 2024... It was Easter Sunday, and a St. Petersburg detective was notified of a quadruple shooting at the Sonic Sports Bar and Lounge on 49th Street. Two females and two... Okay, okay, hold on, y'all. So, that I got a little bit of context a little bit now. So, going into this, I was thinking that... Well, obviously, I read the title, so not anymore, but... Initially, before I even seen 1090 Jake posted this video, I was thinking Rod Wave was being investigated on some, like... Rico charge type thing that they're trying to, you know what I'm saying, throw on them boys. But, or, or they just raided their house on some regular drug charge shit. So, essentially the title and what they're saying is there was a quadruple shooting which led them to then come and raid the house. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. That makes a lot more sense though, y'all. That makes a lot more sense and it sounds like it's more so on some wrong place, wrong time type shit. But uh, I'ma shut up, we gonna see some more. Males were shot while six vehicles were struck by gunfire. A 17 year old girl spoke with detectives at the hospital stating she was shot in the left arm while running away and did not see the shooters. A 28 year old female stated she ran from the scene only to realize after she'd been shot in the shoulder. A 25-year-old male advised he was outside in the she didn't know she was shot in the shoulder he heard until gunfire after. and ran, That's later crazy. realizing he'd been shot in the ankle. And the same would be said for Man. a 26-year-old male who was shot in the arm and hand. So the nobody knew they were shot until afterwards? That's crazy. 
and a total of 44 shell casings will be found at the scene, fired from 9mm and 357 caliber handguns. The detective will be notified of video surveillance that not only captured the shooting, but the vehicle that fled the scene with the shooters inside. A blue 2023 Infiniti SUV could be seen arriving and parking at the restaurant. The vehicle was registered to Rod Darius Green, aka Rod Wave, the multi-platinum rapper from St. Pete. 32-year-old Elias Torres could be seen exiting the driver door, while 24-year-old Christopher Atkins, 24-year-old Willie Cookinson, 20-year-old Kevon Trey Wesby, 21-year-old Keith Wesby walk across the street to meet him. Elias can be seen pointing east towards where the shooting would happen moments later. The group would stop walking over to where he pointed when everyone so, opened fire. Hold on, hold on, man. Elias. Hold on, man. So it says they were seen exiting the car. So, or that's what 1090 Jake just said. So, none of these niggas had masks on. Come on now, like yo, y'all street niggas, like bro. That's one thing I I never understood. Like, why are niggas out here just moving sloppy? Like, if you gonna do some dirt, and my nigga, like, do that shit the right way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't go out here doing no dumb shit, though, y'all. Don't take that as, you know, that. that's what I'm saying. Don't do that, you know what I'm saying? Be a law-abiding citizen. Be an upstanding citizen. You know what I'm saying? Build your community up. Not, you know what I'm saying? Don't tear it down, shit like that. But, um... Yeah, y'all, that's kind of crazy. Like, I always wonder why criminals never, like, m masked up and gloved up every time. Like, I get maybe, like, the only other option, like, you got the drop and you got to go quick. So, like, you didn't even think to grab your other shit. But, like, even then, how do you not think to mask up and put on a gloves and I don't know, man. Y'all gotta stop this shit, man. Come on, we ain't moving sloppy like this. What's going on? Five men would then get into the SUV as Elias drove off. The detective would state in the affidavit he's familiar with all five suspects as he's been conducting an investigation in the OMN. And then he popped out and pointed at, and at where they're gonna shoot. And associates since March and then of 2022. They, Two covert this surveillance cameras silly. have been monitoring a home located on Palm Avenue North to develop intelligence and further the investigation. The detective has spent hours watching the cameras and has viewed all listed suspects numerous times on a daily basis coming and going from the home. The detective has even had face-to-face -face interactions with three of the five shooting suspects. On top of that, all of their social uh, media accounts being a small have been city, man, that's crazy. Including posts from within 24 hours of the shooting, showing all five suspects wearing the same clothes and jewelry. On April 1st, the detective would review surveillance video from the house under investigation. Yeah, yeah. Um, my camera about to die soon. Hopefully, I make it through this reaction, but uh, I'm about to stop pausing as much anyway because it's finna die. But it sounds a lot like the fucking thug case, bro. Like, I'm saying, obviously, he got hit with a Rico and all that. But the shooting, the main shooting and things like that, it was like two main murders that they trying to pin on thug. The little drive-by shooting of Nut and then the little stabbing of uh, Lucci or whatever in, in prison and shit. They trying to pin both of those on thug, right? It sounds like the little drive-by shooting of Nut, like, that is very similar to this in a way like the car was rented out to young thug he was nowhere to be found the car rented out to rod wave he nowhere to be found they gonna try and pin this on rod bro i hope i hope he got you know what i'm saying superstar lawyer to get around this which no one ride wave, he's ride wave, he most likely does. The SUV pulled into the driveway as multiple individuals exited and entered the home. Because it was after 11 p.m. at night, Elias was the only one able to be identified as he exited the driver's seat and entered. The home itself I ain't pausing no more, y'all. I'm trying to get through this before this camera died. Leading the detective to believe they drove directly to the house under surveillance immediately after the shooting. 
Probable cause would be established to charge the four shooters with second degree attempted murder, while Elias was charged with principal to second degree attempted murder. The principal theory under Florida law means you don't have to be the primary participant of a crime to be equally guilty of the crime. While Elias didn't shoot, he pointed in the direction of where the shooting would take place beforehand, walked over, and watched the shooting take place, then fled the scene with the shooting suspects. Yeah, One of the shooters were all gone, while two others were convicted felons, leading to additional charges being filed against them. A search warrant was signed and executed on the home in which two men were arrested. This is what I was talking about, y'all. Same last name as Rod Wave. Two rifles and two pounds of marijuana would be found inside of the home, while the BMW would also be found on the side of the home that would later be linked to several other shootings in the city. That vehicle was also registered to Rod Wave. Detectives would later learn of another home in Palmetto that would be searched and inside would be more firearms, ammunition, cash, and jewelry. Both of these homes were being rented by Rod Wave. Three days before the shooting, Rod Wave posted a picture to Instagram wearing his Florida boy pendant over his ATR pendant. Both of these would be confiscated in the searches. Cavantre, Keith, and Christopher would be identified by police as members of the YGs or Young Gangsters, and Christopher can be seen on Instagram also wearing ATR pendants. Rod Wave is known for claiming ATR as his own clique, with ATR standing for Addicted to Racks. Now to clarify, there's no evidence ATR is a gang, and it isn't being investigated as not a gang, yeah. but Rod Wave is being investigated for his ties to the YGs. Rod Wave would be arrested for being a felon in possession of a firearm and ammunition, but would be released shortly after it was determined he wasn't even a felon. Come to find out Rod Wave had previously been charged with a felony, but later pled to a misdemeanor, and the police barely looked into it before placing him under arrest. A photo would hit social so media was falsely the arrested. within Manatee County Jail, taking a photo with one of the employees inside the booth, so it appears Rod didn't have too bad of a time in there. But the news of his arrest, along with the video of the shooting being released, left the blogs alleging that it was actually Rod Wave in the video as the shooting went down. I mean, it was really just the fact there was a few skinny shooters and a fat guy, so everyone assumed yeah, I was about it was Rod. To say, they just Even seen though the, the news dude, reported man. it was Elias, whose arrest paperwork states he's 5'9 and 400 pounds, the blogs either didn't do Four, their homework honey. or figured the clickbait would be better. So while Rod Wave is free, that doesn't eliminate the possibility of another issue in the future. A two-year gang investigation into a known violent gang that has been using your cars and houses to commit shootings, stash weapons, and stash drugs sounds like the grounds for a possible RICO. And the feds don't even need to be involved, as Florida is one of the few states that has its own RICO charge. St. Pete police had already said more arrests are expected to come. In Georgia, right? And Florida and Georgia? Keith Wesby is still wanted for the Easter shooting. Police have also said the shooting stemmed from Elias having a problem with someone else and calling the four other men. If that's the case, it would seem the police are alleging Elias directed the four other men to commit the shooting. Elias can be seen in multiple pictures with Rod Wave and the other suspects, and it's believed Elias is actually Rod Wave's road manager. At the time, all five men are charged with offenses that under Florida law are punishable by life, and with no parole in the state, a life sentence means a prison death. Now this is a lot to take in, and at the end of the day, I'm a realist, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Rod Wave didn't do shit. He didn't yeah, do anything. Say, he went he to didn't jail on some fluke shit because the police didn't even look into the fact that he wasn't a felon. Whatever, whatever. They said that there was some ammunition left out of one of the homes. They tried to get him with that instead of the multiple guns that were in the homes. I'm not sure how the fuck that plays out. But either way, Rod Wade didn't do anything. The issue is the people he's hanging around, his team. This could be the team that's just with him traveling, music videos, friends he grew up with whatever he has two vehicles rented two houses rented the shooters in this case have been 
using one of these houses and one of the vehicles was used to flee the scene of the shooting. That right there is a problem. I'm not sure if they could charge him because it's like, yo, that's my manager. I let him use a car that I rent, whatever, whatever. I didn't know that they were doing shit with the car. I didn't know that the other cars wanted me, multiple yeah. shootings. I had no idea about that. I didn't know that there was pounds in there. I just rented a place for my team. Whatever my team did, me personally, I don't feel like the responsibility falls on Raw Wave whatsoever. And I'm sure he got the money to have a lawyer express the same thing. But that doesn't mean Florida is going to look at it the same way. And if they've been investigating gangs in St. Pete or more specifically the people he's associated with, for two years now, normally they don't do two year investigations just for a simple arrest. They're investigating. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Because they're building yeah, up an entire my bad, case. Yeah, I'm over here. So when uh, they come and smack down, we're gonna upload this other video as I'm watching. Able to use but to put you away. Hold on. Now the Rico in Florida. No, I said I wasn't gonna pause, but I did want to speak on that. Um, yeah, 1090 J got a point, y'all. Yeah. Not gonna lie to you, 1090J definitely got a point. Um, they're not gonna be investigating you for two years plus any long period like that unless they're trying to, yeah, like he said, build a case. So uh, it seems like that might be what's going down here. Um, hopefully not, you know, for uh, Ride Wave and his homie's sake. But yeah, it seems like there's no other real reason that they'd be investigating your group for two plus years um, unless they were trying to build a case, y'all. So I agree with 1090 Jake. It, it sounds like something bigger might be coming. Um, and they did a whole lot of research and investigating and digging up, finding them pictures and all that, that Rod Wave is pictured in with the shooters and all that. So that means they was already like, Digging and making connections to other certain things like I hope not man It's a war on the rap game right now And I, that's honestly how I feel I hope not Because Rod Wave is one of those generational talents um, That we really can't afford to be losing again bro Like you know what I'm saying Rod Wave is just one of those people who just Is great at what he does man And uh, I don't want to see him get locked up man So Hopefully that ain't the case, but anyways, I'm gonna let 1090 Jake finish. Leave carries like 20 years itself. Never mind the quadruple shooting, attempted murder, that would be just one count of the Rico. Now they seized up all the jewelry and everything in the house. Really, the only explanation was we saw them wearing the jewelry, we knew it was them because we could see jewelry on the shooting surveillance, whatever. In my opinion, they're taking away your means to Why did y'all wear jewelry you know, to go do that shit too? You, know, you, like, you better have this some money shit in the bank. My head hurt, boy. Everything that you could use or sell to hire a defense team. Now, as far as Rob Wave goes, I mean, he's a millionaire. He's a platinum artist. You got to be careful with who you're hanging around. Moving forward, now that he knows what's going on, he definitely got to be tiptoeing through St. Pete. I'm surprised he actually yeah. hasn't gotten up out of St. Pete. But at the end of the day, the way he lives in St. Pete, still. This is gonna go. They're saying more arrests are gonna come. Hopefully, none of this falls on Rod Wave, and hopefully, nobody within his camp starts pointing the finger. The police are alleging that Elias was the one that had an issue called the other four men, pointed for whatever reason on camera, and the shooting happened. Whatever happens with them happens with them, and hopefully Rod Wave is able to separate himself from that path of self-destruction. But hey, let me know y'all's thoughts and comments in the comments section. It's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, That's going to do it for this one. But yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy. Um... Hopefully, like I said earlier, and like 1090 Jake said, like it's not um, anything serious that they're building up against Rod and all his people and all that. Um, and yeah, he said like the feds are alleged, or not the feds, the police are alleging that the uh, the other dude, Elias dude, is the one who called the shots or whatever. Um, 
I, I don't really want to see nobody get locked up, to be honest, y'all. I don't really want to see no man go behind bars. But in terms of Rod Wave and where he stands with the situation and how he should approach the situation, um, I'm just hoping all goes well for him. And like 1090 Jake said, he could probably separate himself because... He is the ticket, bro. He's the meal ticket for probably a lot of people in that community and hood and his family. Um, he provides, you know, a way for them to eat and a way for them to live comfortably, bro. And that's adults, children, everybody. So we, I wouldn't like to see somebody like Rod Wave just get took off the streets like that. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, like 1090 Jake says, he could separate himself from the bullshit because... There's way too many rappers getting locked up nowadays, y'all. Like, over serious charges, too. Like, I'm talking about niggas is locked up. Like, they, it's a war on the rap game, bro. Who locked up? Lucci locked up. Thug locked up. Nigga, they had Gunner, but they let him go. You feel me? They looking into Lil Baby and them right now, if y'all didn't know that. Fucking... Who, who else locked up? Hot Boy locked up. Fucking Glock 9. Like... Bro, it's so many rap Pooh Shiesty, Rio the Young OG. It's so many rappers. YB, like he been fighting this house arrest thing for however long. It's so many rappers. It's just, it, it's a lot going on. Let's say that. Um, and I just hope Rod Wave doesn't get caught up in no bullshit, man, because he's one of my favorite artists, honestly. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, y'all. Y'all, let me know if y'all enjoy. Y'all, let me know. How y'all feel about it down below as well, man. Um, but yeah, uh, my name's Isaac, like I said before. I hope you scroll down, hit that like button for me, you know what I'm saying? Turn on that. Talking too goddamn fast. Shut up, I, man. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you're notified whenever I drop another video. Make sure you head over to my Instagram. Follow that too. It's just official Isaac N underscore. Know what I'm saying? Um, and head over to my main channel. Check that out too, man. It's just Isaac. I-S-A-A-C, man. Pranks and everything over there all the time. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it, y'all. I'm see y'all in the next video.